Welcome everybody to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle11, or on Twitter, I am Razzle11Grinds. Taking a look at the Saturday slate of pitching. Uh, we do have two separate slates, so I'm going to try to cross between the two to give you some pitching options. Uh, at first glance, the best pitching options for DFS purposes are going to be on the the first slate on DraftKings. Uh, we get quite a few guys that are very interesting, and then obviously there's some weather, colder weather, uh, still going around the nation. Uh, so let's take a look. The first guy is obviously going to be Jeffrey Springs for the Rays. Uh, we are just going to continue to jam in Tampa Bay pitchers right now. Uh, he was absolutely disgusting in his first start of the year. Uh, now I don't expect 12 Ks out of him, uh, probably at all the rest of the season, but I don't really expect a ton of Ks against Oakland. Uh, they haven't been striking out against left-handed pitching. I know it's a sample size of very little proportion, but uh, it's something to, to pay attention to. But on the other hand, is like Springs was great this spring, uh, obviously great in his first start. The Oakland lineup is pretty weak overall. 8,500 on this slate just seems too cheap. Uh, when there isn't a stud option on it. Now, another option for me uh, is going to be Nick Lodolo. This one's got a little more volatility to it. Uh, we do know that he can get a little wild, allow some brace runners. Uh, but the big thing is the K numbers are there. And this Philadelphia lineup is not the same one that you know we saw go to the World Series last season. Missing Bryce Harper and Reese Hoskins is a big thing. Uh, especially Reese against left-handed pitching. So this is going to be a spot where I think we can get Lodolo uh, GPP-wise with huge upside. There is a ton of volatility to it, but when we're building our GPP lineups, we don't really care about a floor. Um, one guy that I'm going to fade, and it shouldn't be a surprise, but maybe it is because he's for some reason, San Francisco's favored today, um, and people will generally look and see Kansas City and think that it's a, a decent matchup for him. I just don't think Sean Mania is right. I think he lost a ton of confidence or whatever when he got traded to San Diego and he didn't perform that well. Uh, I think it really messed with them. Now, we know that San Francisco has, has built back up some reclamation projects over the years. So by the end of the year, it wouldn't shock me if he figured it out again. But he was pretty bad this spring, and then he came in in relief uh, in his first performance this season, and he struggled mightily against the White Sox. Uh, I just don't like the way that he's looked. Uh, now I get like Kansas City's lineup isn't all that dangerous top to bottom, but I'm just not willing to pay 8100 for this version of Sean Maniah. Uh, I will lump in the pitchers from Chicago, the Cubs, and uh, Rangers game. I'm a huge fan of Justin Steele. I think he reminds me a ton of Jeffrey Springs. They're very similar to me. And we know that the weather in Chicago probably isn't very warm. Uh, let me load up our weather station here. Uh, there, you know, it is 61, uh, but it's not. It's kind of neutral for hitters and pitchers, so uh, I am going to be on both sides of that pitching matchup. Uh, mainly Steele, but I think the Texas lineup is slightly more dangerous against left-handed pitching than the Chicago Cubs lineup is. Uh, we'll take a look here at the main slate real quickly. Uh, there's some weather uh, potential in the San Diego-Atlanta game, so that's going to add enough to where I'm fading both pitching, especially Charlie Morton, who's the most expensive pitcher on the slate. Uh, if you read my my notes for his first start, I was off of him then. Uh, he didn't look great during the spring. I always struggled on the road, at least with Atlanta, he struggled on the road. Um, and we saw that he just he didn't have strikeout numbers. He ended up being okay. Uh, he allowed a ton of base runners, but uh, I just don't think it's a spot I want to rely on Charlie Morton until I, I see it at this point. 
uh, I'm going to be off the pitching in the LA Toronto game, uh, grouping them together, uh, similar to being off last night, uh, which wasn't the smartest idea apparently, um, as both starting pitchers were pretty solid, but, uh, Barrios just doesn't look like the same guy, and I'm not going to go out of my way to take a, a finesse pitcher against the Toronto lineup, so it's going to remove Anderson. Uh, I will be on Jordan Montgomery. This one feels dangerous. Uh, the Brewers have been rolling at the plate, but overall, I don't think they're going to be as, as strong against left-handed pitching, uh, and Montgomery seems like the guy that can you know, kind of throw them off enough. Uh, he was solid against Toronto, and that's against a Toronto team that has seen him a ton uh, with his time with the Yankees. So I am going to be on Jordan Montgomery as my GBP play on this slate. I will also look to be using Brito. Uh, he was very impressive in his debut. A uh, little tougher matchup, but Baltimore has cooled off enough where I think there's definitely some upside uh, on this slate. Uh Right now, I am torn. This last guy, Lauer, uh, I'm leaning towards the fade and stacking against him just because I like what St. Louis can do against left-handed pitching. Uh, but he was really solid against the Cubs. I know the weather was pretty cold, so um, take that with a grain of salt. But he does have upside. So he might be somebody that I sprinkle in, but I'm probably going to be well under the field at this point. So there we have it, a quick look at today's starts and fades on DraftKings. Uh, most of these guys, you know, the, the crossover to FanDuel makes sense too, but with us having just one pitcher on FanDuel, uh, there's far more in the fades category, so that's why I focus on DraftKings. So if you could hit the like button, I would really appreciate it. helps us out a ton here at DFS Army. And if you want to comment below, your favorite pitcher on this slate of games. It can be on either slate. It doesn't matter. Just let me know where you're looking to go. And as always, we do have a promo code going on right now uh, through this weekend using the t code opening day. Gets you 50% off your first month with us at DFS Army. I will put some links in the description below. And best of luck, everybody.